Fanero Devotions for Tuesday, February 21, 2023, by Apostle Grace Lebega. Titled, Of the Spirit of Divination Part 1. Numbers 22, 7, KJV, And the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in their hand, and they came unto Balaam, and spake unto him the words of Balak. Divination is a spirit that puts a price on the oracles of God. It is unfortunate that in our day, some Christians confuse divination with prophecy simply because they both can be accurate as regards the details of someone's life or certain events. In Acts 16 verses 16 to 17, the Bible says, And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which shew unto us the way of salvation. The spirit speaking through this young girl rightly discerned that Paul and the men with him were servants of the Most High God. Did this make it a spirit from God? No. The scripture reveals that this girl through her soothsaying brought her masters much gain. This is because wherever there is divination, a man is required to pay for what he receives. In our theme scripture, the Bible speaks of the rewards of divination because every diviner wants a reward for his revelations, visions, and predictions. This same spirit is at work in the Church of Christ with some men of God openly demanding from their flock money for prophecies. Prophecies should never be sold. If someone is to bless you for a word spoken into their future, then it should be out of the conviction of their heart and never the manipulation of a man or woman of God. Praise the Lord! Further study, Acts 16 verses 16 to 17, 2 Kings 5 verse 16. Golden Nugget, Divination is a spirit that puts a price on the oracles of God. Prophecies should never be sold. If someone is to bless you for a word spoken into their future, then it should be out of the conviction of their heart and never the manipulation of a man or woman of God. Prayer, Loving Father, I thank you for this truth. Thank you for opening my eyes to the differences between divination and prophecy. By this word, I walk in wisdom and know how to respond to your oracles. This knowledge keeps me far from deception, preserves and strengthens me in you. In Jesus' name, Amen.